As a virtual workspace and management app, one of Notion's key strengths are its configurable databases. To ensure maximum clarity and to minimize miscommunication, Notion allows your team to work using linked databases that update alongside each other. The easiest way to do this is to create a master database and create linked databases derived from it. Here's how to do it. To start, you'll need to designate or create a master database to link from. If you're importing data from older databases, you'll need to format your old databases alongside your new master database to share the exact same fields and tags. Once that's done, click on the triple dotted icon next to your old databases and select export to export them to a CSV file. Import them into the master database by clicking on the triple dotted icon and selecting merge with CSV. Once you're done making sure everything is in order, note down what your master database is called then click over to the page where you want to put in your new linked database. Left click where you need it to appear, type slash create, and select create linked database from the menu that pops up. If you don't see your database here, you'll have to search for and select your master database by name. On Notion's mobile app, things are just a little bit different. Once you've brought up the page where you want to put in your new database, tap where you want to see it, then on the plus icon on the left of the keyboard. On the screen that pops up, scroll down and tap on create linked database. You'll then be prompted to select a suggested database or search for it by name. In both cases, the database will copy itself onto the page once selected, with an arrow next to its name indicating that it's a linked copy. You can alter your database view as necessary, such as viewing the information in board view or displaying only relevant information filtered out by certain tags. These filters and views won't affect the master database, but any edits to its contents or properties will. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Notion and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.